Hello everybody, I'm Learn Hittite and today I've got a very quick unscripted video for you because something very interesting is happening in the world of Indo-European linguistics, specifically the branch concerning the Anatolian languages. What am I talking about, you might ask? Well, a few months ago, in October 2023, I believe, I did a YouTube short video covering this article published on the website of Universitat Wurzburg. This article was about an excavation in Bayaskale, Turkey, undertaken by Professor Daniel Schwemmer and his team. And during that excavation, they found a tablet. And inside that tablet was information concerning ritual practice. But that ritual was conducted in a new, previously unattested Indo-European language. That language was the language of Kalashma land, or Kalashmaic, Kalashmian, something like that. Now, from the initial analysis, the authors concluded that it was likely to be related to Luvian, and that it was, uh, for sure, an Anatolian language on the Anatolian branch of Indo-European. And that was basically it. We didn't get any further detail. It was just there to kind of wet our whistle. Now, a few days ago, the same institute on Twitter released an update saying that the tablet which has been discovered has been published. We get a photograph and we get the drawing of the canal form. And if you follow the links, it takes you to the Library of Hittite website where you can see a full transliteration of the Hittite part of the tablet. Now, this is the first reason why I wanted to make this video. Many um, screenshots online of this tablet uh, feature the Hittite introduction. It's not actually this new language, um, Kalashma language, Kalashmaic. It's 100% Hittite. If you've done, for example, Elements of Hittite by Theo van den Hout, you'll definitely be able to get the gist of this uh, nine line introduction. Uh, it covers some very common vocabulary, including vocabulary that I've covered in my Hittite classes. Um, and, um, but that's just the introduction. It's the following lines which are in this new language. So um, if we follow the Twitter links, we get a PDF to download and we get this information about the tablet. And when I read this information, I got immediately excited because we have a line which says, I'll give you my personal translation. He conjures as follows in the way of Kalashma. So we have a line in Hittite that indicates that the um, following text is in the, la the language of the land of Kalashma. Now I'm excited by this because when I did my first video covering the original news article, I wasn't that optimistic about what this discovery would reveal. I kind of expected something like this. Let me show you on screen. Fragments of tablets, a severely damaged tablet or something like that um, with um, lines which are difficult to read, signs which are incomplete and things like that. And I expected that probably what it would be would be some Anatolian dialect that exhibited some unusual traits and linguists would then discuss and debate for eternity about whether this was just a dialect or, or a new language or something like this. But that's not what we got. We got something much, much better. We got over 11 lines, four lines of this new Indo-European language. Look at that right there from 10 onwards. And there's a little bit at the bottom, not that. There's a little bit at the bottom also. So this is fantastic news uh, because we have um, a much more substantial text than I think that I could ever uh, predict. And of course, we get this nice Hittite introduction. Again, if you want to read this uh, Hittite introduction, you can. It's already been translated and uh, transliterated and translated here. Follow the links from that Twitter uh, post. Um, click interlinear glossing. You need to search for this tablet and uh, you can find the gloss of the terms in uh, Hittite. But as I said, it's not uh, particularly difficult to understand. There are, however, some curiosities. I would like us to focus on uh, this sign here, Lee. 
because actually if we look at the cuneiform, that sign is missing. And that sign forms the adverb in Hittite. We have the um, introductory particle and here. We have the, the, the sign which introduces that the following noun will be the name of a, of a city, settlement or land. And then we have the signs for ka, la. Here is what appears to be ash. And here we have what appears to be the sign for me. It's difficult to read. I would prefer to be able to look at the original cuneiform and analyze it properly. But here in the drawing, we don't actually have the adverb li. This then is kishan, the subsequent word in the, in the transliteration. Now, there was a picture uh, released with the Twitter post, but it's poor quality. I thought that I had a better quality version that I found last night online, but it's disappeared. Uh, maybe it's been taken down for some reason. I can't quite see um, with any degree of reliability what is going on at that point um, at the end of the word Kalashma. Now the significance of this is probably none. Uh, maybe the the scribe didn't write the adverbial and the adverb ending to it. We can still with a high degree of certainty interpret the, the line as he conjures as follows in the way of Kalashma. That being said, there are also some interesting things going on when I look at the drawing with some of the preceding signs. I would like to have a high resolution photo to better analyze what's going on here with those signs. In terms of what the Kalashmian text actually says, I don't want to talk too much about it um, because when I looked at it uh, in the transliteration form and when I looked at the Kanaya form, there are some obvious Anatolian morphological endings on some of these words which I assume to be verbs and that's fantastic so even me as a, as a relative uh, amateur in this field I can see morphological evidence that it is an Anatolian language however I've got to be honest again only with my amateur experience everything else here is very unusual uh, often people say I've seen people write online that it's related to Luvian but in my experience, historically, every time we found uh, uh, you know, a new variety of Anatolian, initially it was compared to Luvian. Uh, probably that's because the Luvian branch has a few branches to it. But I'm not sure how close this is to Luvian, to be honest. It's definitely Anatolian. I think we might have a new isolated uh, branch here, potentially. That's why it's so exciting. And when we get experts to analyze this fully, what this text will reveal really is curious to think about. Now, uh, this line here, uh, some people have already presented their translations online. However, uh, on the previous Friday, I think it was the 2nd of February, at the University of Oxford, two of the researchers that were working on um, uh, deciphering and, and translating this tablet, Professor Elizabeth Riken and Dr. Ilya Yakubovich, gave their presentation uh, detailing their findings in their initial attempt to understand this text. And let me quote for you what they wrote. Um, the tablet contains an introduction stating that the ritual expert conjures in the language of Kalashma. So that's those first nine lines that we were talking about in Hittite. In what follows, we encounter a text that is not yet fully comprehended, written in a language sharing obvious similarities with the other Anatolian languages. So I agree with that, like I said, we can see the morphological endings. And yeah, for sure, there seems to be lots of interesting features with this text. Now, unfortunately, the meeting at Oxford University was, you could attend physically and it was available online. It was free for anybody to attend but I had family obligations and I was unable to do so. So I emailed Dr. Yakubovich and asked for some notes or some material from the presentation and he kindly replied informing me basically not to worry about it because the following Friday at the um, I believe it's called the MAST seminar meetings on Aegean studies they're going to present a revised version of the presentation they did the previous Friday. So this indicates to me that the um, translation, the understanding of this text in Kalashma language is very dynamic. Our understanding of it is ongoing. Obviously, we need to get the opinion of uh, multiple experts in the field uh, to provide their analysis. 
And that's why this is so exciting because I think we're gonna uncover some interesting features of the Anatolian branch based on this text. Who knows what tablets we will uncover in the future, whether this will have any meaningful implication on our overall vision of how Indo-European looked, I don't know, but it's definitely gonna impact the Anatolian branch, which is significant in and of itself. So, as usual, I'll provide links in the video description. Very, very exciting. Just look at that, how beautiful it is. All of that text in a new language. It's time now uh, to wait for the interpretations to be published and for us all as amateurs or people who are interested in Indo-European studies, the Anatolian languages, to get stuck into analysing it ourselves, give our interpretations, uh, see what we uh, come up with. Looking forward to those high resolution pictures of the tablet um, and let's see what it brings. This is fantastic news. I've been learned Hittite. You've been fantastic as always. I'll be back very soon, hopefully with a video on Thracian. And when we have a better understanding of the Kalashma language text, I'll also be back with a part two of this video. Speak to you all very soon.